just start smile. Three. Hello, I'm Hunter, alongside Amari and Spencer for Sports Broadcasting Camp TV. Let's get today's top sports stories. Major League Baseball gets back underway tonight after taking a break for its All-Star break. Monday featured the Home Run Derby in which the New York Mets' Peter Alonzo pressed 74 home runs over three rounds to defend his title and take home the $1 million prize. He defeated the Baltimore Orioles slugger Trey Mancini in the final round just one year after Mancini overcame his battle with stage 3 colon cancer. The NBA Finals are all tied up following the Milwaukee Bucks defending its home court last night against the Phoenix Suns in Game 4, 109-103. Giannis Antetokounmpo and Chris Middleton combined for 66 points to outside Devin Booker in his game high 42. The play of the night came with just over a minute to go when DeAndre Aiden seemed ready to throw down a short fire alley oop that would have tied the game at 101. Instead, Giannis came up with the lead saving block to help keep Milwaukee ahead for good. Game 5 comes up Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. After the first round of the Open Championship at St. George's Club in Kent, England, England, Louis Oosthuizen holds the lead at 6-under. Jordan Spieth and Brian Harmon are sitting at 5-under, with the reigning champ Bryson DeChambeau is tied for 75th, seven strokes off the lead. Last night, Team WNBA beat Team USA in the WNBA All-Star Game at 93-85. to Aruke Umbuale was named MVP after pouring 26 points on 10-for-18 shooting, including 5-for-10 beyond the arc. Following the loss, Team USA's veteran leader Sue Bird said, for the coaches, they have to figure out which group is the most cohesive. These things always take a whole training camp, months or years, and we try and do it in a matter of days or weeks. This was just the first step. We learn from it and move on. I think we learned we're not a team yet. Team USA continues its pursuit of seven straight gold medals Tuesday, July 27th at 12.40 a.m. Eastern Time against Nigeria. Wednesday, Big 12 coordinator of officials Greg Burke said at Big 12 Media Day, that cracking down on taunting will be a point of emphasis for the league this year. Burks was asked about the gift that keeps on giving. For Big 12 officials, the horns down symbol, a taunt directed at Texas. Burks said, let me put it this way, if you do a horns down to a Texas player as an opponent, that's probably going to be a foul. Burks then said, if a player turned to the crowd to throw the sign, it probably would not be a penalty. Please, all of you know, I said probably, Burks added. We have to consider intent and consider the situation. We'll leave it to officials. We'll see what happens as the Texas Longhorns open their conference schedule September 25th against Texas Tech. That's, just, that's it for sports. For Spencer and Amari, I'm Hunter. Have a great night.